Here we have an example of a metric conversion where we have two prefixes. Convert 50,000 milliliters to centiliters. So when we look at this, we see that we, you know, we just have the one number. That's what we're starting with, milliliters, and it says convert to centiliters. So then we've got centiliters over here. When we look at these units now, the one we're starting with and the one we're ending up with, we see that they both have a prefix. One's milli and one centi. There are two prefixes, so we need to have two steps. There are other ways to do it, but this is the most straightforward way, and it involves the least amount of thinking. So this is how I would do it, even though I really do understand the metric system. I wouldn't bother coming up with a relationship between centi and milli. So what's our middle step? Our middle step is going to be the unit without a prefix. So when you have two prefixes, you're going to take that first one with a prefix and convert it to the unit with no prefix. Then from the unit with no prefix, you'll convert to the unit with the other prefix. Okay? So we'll start writing our equation now. 50,000 milliliters. We have two arrows. We've got two conversion factors. On the top, our pass is milliliters to liters to centiliters. So then we're going to write milliliters to liters to centiliters. We want the milliliters to cancel out, so in this second term, we divide by milliliters. The milliliters cancel out. In the last term, we divide by liters so that the liters cancel out. Now we need to look at what do those metric prefixes mean. So centi means 10 to the minus 2. And milli means 10 to the minus 3. <coughs> those are things that you should memorize. We use them a lot. They'll save you so much time. So in this second term here, the first conversion factor, we have milliliter on the bottom. We have milli on the bottom. We put what milli means on the top. We don't put it with milli. Because then when we're looking at this, we see we have liter over liter. Those would cancel out. And 10 to the minus 3 is what milli means. And those would cancel out. And so this is numerically equal to 1. All of our conversion factors have to be equal to 1. As to make it a little clearer for us so that when we go put it in our calculators, it'll look better. We'll go 1 times. Because multiplying something by 1 doesn't matter. Now that is in scientific notation, and it's easier to enter into your calculator. The last term, centiliters to liters. So centi is on the top then we're going to write what it means on the bottom. Centi means 10 to the minus 2, so that's 1 times 10 to the minus 2. So then you use your calculator. You have 50,000 times 1 EE minus 3 divided by 1 EE minus 2 equals. And the calculator will show you 5,000. and the unit there is centiliters. How many significant figures should that answer have? How many did 50,000 have? Are those trailing zeros significant? There's no decimal point. They're ambiguous. We're not sure if they're significant or not, so we're going to assume the worst and say they're not. So 50,000 has only one significant figure. These zeros we're not sure about. And, and so over here, if, when we write 5,000, those are also ambiguous zeros. So we're kind of just saying, well, you gave us an ambiguous number. We'll hand one right back to you. I still think it's better. <coughs> 
excuse me, to put that in scientific notation, and that would be 5 times 10 to the third centiliters. But either of these answers would be considered correct.